Hey, what's up, guys? Troy, ATXRC Productions. Um, we just got something seriously exciting finally figured out for 3DR Solo Smart Drone, okay? So, people have been trying to figure out, me included, how to utilize my Fat Shark Dominator V2s with Solo. There's a couple of different options here. There's an HDMI input, it's a micro. There's a 3.5 input over here, and I believe an output over here. Me and others have tried as we might to use the HDMI, only to find out that the V2 dominators don't support anything above 480 on input into the HDMI micro. It's pretty silly. I don't even know what the point of that is. There's also an S video, by the way. Now, anybody that has the Fat Sharks knows that they come with this monstrous cable. It's RCAs, 3.5. You can actually plug a power in and S uh, video. So it has this huge long cable that you can use for extended packs as well as um, playback and as well as input. Um, it's a huge long cable. Using that cable and a couple of other small little items that I found, um, I was actually able to piece together for 30 bucks a kit to build for FPV. So this kit consists of, and we'll break it down really quick. Here's your radio. I got some Velcro on the back. It's gonna be switched to industrial strength. I thought I had some, but I was out. Um, to that, we're gonna build this. Can't see because it's got the, paper, the, the Velcro on it, but this is a HDMI to RCA. So it's got a full HDMI and an RCA out. So HDMI input, RCA output. Amazon, 12 bucks, Amazon Prime, free delivery. It'll go from NTSC to PAL if you want, but the major thing to notice is it's got an HDM or a uh, USB power source needed. This needs five volts to run. We could piggyback off the, the uh, radio or put a separate battery, battery in the radio, but something I found at Fry's earlier in the week, and I plan on buying a couple more to utilize on multiple areas of Solo, is this GearHead credit card style um, 1800 milliamp hour five volt output battery pack. It's super thin. It'll fit on a lot of spots on Solo. Gimbal bed, or right behind the bed, power some alternate source. It actually fits great there. Um, it'll fit on top of the pack if you wanted. It'll fit on the bottom. Or in our case, we're gonna take the HDMI box and we'll put it like this. And we're putting it like this in order to get, oh, I'm sorry, no. I want it like this. Cause I want the power towards the bottom and I'll show you why. And it's because of the way the wires all kind of come out. Um, we will then take our power and it goes on like this power coming out the bottom too, so the reason we do that is we've got our HDMI power cable. I have it all zip tied up because it's about 10 or 12 inches and I really need like a three inch one, so this is where I'm gonna have to start Googling. I didn't buy a bunch of cables yet because I wanted to make sure it worked before I spent the money on a ton of cables. So we've got power there, so we're now powering the box off the, the, the five volt pack. HDMI to HDMI micro. The micro goes into the radio. HDMI side of the box. And again, big long cable. I have, I have like a two, 18 inch one or three foot one, but it's got these huge freaking ferrous magnets on them. So I'd rather go with this and bundle it up. I'm again going to get as short and thin and small of one as I can. And then that's there. Lastly, I have my Fat Shark goggles all powered, ready to go with 
the 3.5 in the input slot. And this is that huge long cable of monstrosity with everything on it. I zip tied it up together nice and clean too. And it will plug into my HDMI box. So there we go. Again, it's a monstrosity. Think about it though, when I get this all worked out and it's just this pack, RCAs and a very small cable sets. It'll actually be pretty decent. So I now have my goggles hooked up to my radio. All right, power solo on, get the radio powered up, it's all there, and not sure how much you can see, but it's in there, so anyways, yep. Yep, there we go. All right, so there you go. Power pack, RCA to HDMI, all on the back of the radio. Again, I'm going to tighten up all these strings of crazy excess cables. Make sure everything's plugged in. I will say the one thing that I had issue with is this box automatically selects the different or different types of um, uh, resolutions. So if your cable comes slightly unplugged here or here, which is going to be fixed when I get the, the correct cables, um, it kind of goes off and on in the picture. And it's actually why I had to kind of cut away for a minute. Is my original issue was I didn't I didn't have the HDMI plugged into the back of the controller. It actually slipped out. So when I was trying to track down why this was no longer working, I've re realized the resolution issue, and that was because this, when I was playing with the power in and out, I kind of unplugged the power and plugged it back in, and it didn't like that. So make sure you start everything up. Like I would start solo, get everything running, power on your goggles, then I would power up the two bo or the box underneath. Um, that way to start transmitting. But that's how we're gonna do Fat Shark uh, FPV. So watch me FPV with the solo now. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, fly safe, fly smart, fly 3DR.